<clears throat> the new Thomas and Friends reboot sucks. <laughs> You know what? No. No, no. It doesn't just suck. It, it It's the worst thing ever. Like, what? What? I have not seen or interacted with anything Thomas in a good long while. And, you know, I just decided to check up and see how he's doing. You know, it's like checking up on an old friend you haven't seen in a good long while. And this is the first thing I see. This is the first thing I see. <sighs> and I'm mad. Like, look, literally, when I saw this, this reminded me of those crappy Thomas Baby toys that they made a few years back. Remember these things? Remember these things? Remember these things? Like, yeah, they were awful. Awful. And the animation just reminds me of those terribly made kids videos like animated kids videos that you get on YouTube that make you feel like you're losing brain cells the more you watch yet somehow they get hundreds of millions of views Pfft, don't know how I don't think we're necessarily m upset or mad about the reboot itself I don't think that I think what everyone else what everyone is mad and upset about is the fact that this is what Thomas is now. This is what Thomas has become. Thomas turned from this to this. And I think that's the real reason why many people are upset. To see such a beloved show deteriorate into just, just, pro just one of the worst things ever created by a human being. Like, it's disgraceful, said Gordon. Disgusting, put in James. Despicable, finished Henry. I've been a Thomas fan for a really long time. And I've been through many of the ups and downs of Thomas. But I was always able to find a way to come back. The fandom was always able to find a way to bounce back from whatever garbage it threw at them. They still continued on to watch onto the episodes, they still continued on to love Thomas, but this time, I don't see us bouncing back from this. I'm afraid to say this, but Mattel have killed Thomas the Tank Engine. Thomas the Tank Engine is dead. Those are words I never thought I would say next to each other, but it's true. Look, we all thought Bubba was the end of Thomas. Oh boy, that was so naive. I do believe this is truly the end for Thomas. Mattel were doing all right, all right at the beginning. Pretty good even. I hate to say this, but I think it's the end of the line. At least for the show anyway. Thomas as a whole, Maybe not. The fandom is as strong as ever, and I feel like it's becoming more and more stronger with this reboot. People are coming out, saying they hate it, and coming up with their own projects and ideas to show why we love Thomas, and what made Thomas great. And I think that's how, Tom that's how Thomas is going to keep going on. Not with the show, not with Mattel, but with the fans. Continuing to make art, videos, and even memes, Thomas will live on for years and years on end. If people continue to show why we fell in love with him in the first place. The Thomas fandom is truly one of the best fandoms I've ever seen. And there are a few stinkers here and there, don't get me wrong, but it is nothing compared to a lot of the fandoms I've seen. Ooh, I'm not even going to touch that. But the fandom I feel like truly, truly embodies what the franchise stood for, for, what Thomas stood for. People from all over the world come together just to share their love with each other, their love 
of Thomas. People work together to make amazing projects just because they like this little blue tank engine. Mattel, you are definitely not watching this, but I'll say this. You have officially killed Thomas the Tank Engine, but the Thomas fandom will be the ones to revive him. And hopefully, years to come, the next generation and the generation after that will not grow up with what you've created, but instead grow up with what we have experienced before and what we are going to create. I can't wait, I need to be a part of an amazing community of amazing people. And I hope you all accept me for joining this community as well.